In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you're able to create an interactive form between OneDrive and Microsoft Forms. First, go to your OneDrive account and then create a folder or go to a folder where you would like to create your interactive form. In this case, I made a folder called Practice. I'm going to open that folder. Now, I already have one document in here, but I would like to create another that will also be in here. So I'm going to go to Add New and then Forms for Excel. Now what's nice about this is, is that I could put the name of a student in here, I could put the name of a class, I could put whatever I would like in here to be able to work with Forms. So you'll notice I just created it and now Forms opened up. So I can create a new form right here. So whatever I create here will be reflected inside my OneDrive folder. So let's just go in and I'm going to just create this. I'm just going to put in some garbage text inside of here. So we have the options that are in here and they can have multiple answers if they'd like. Click New, Choice, Boom, 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 and there we go. Now I just created this form. If we would like to be able to collect the responses so I can show you how this works, we just go up, click collect responses. I'm going to use a shortened URL. There we go. That's just copied. Now let's come on up and let's just go to that form and I'll show you how this works. So there we go. That's just what I had. I'm going to click submit. Now what the beauty of this is, is that when we come over to this form right here, you'll see, yeah, there they are. I have the responses here. So when I click on it, you can see I would had the responses. Here's the beauty of this. When I click open in Excel, it's now opening that Excel file that I created in OneDrive and I'm going to be able to see the entries live. So here we go. This is what I just created and just dumped into here. So the nice, this is wonderful with what can happen here because now instead of me opening that spreadsheet every single time I can come into OneDrive and I can see the results as they're happening in real time. So that it's it's a wonderful way to be able to keep track of that data that you have. Now the one thing I do want to uh, show you is if you are going to want to remove the information, there is a pretty good amount of lag time between deleting your form and when you can delete it from inside of your files. So let's come into here and let me go back to my forms that I have right here. Let me refresh. Now you'll see we have Susan Doe here. When I click on the three little dots and I go remove from recent, okay, I can get rid of that form here. The thing that happens is, is that there's such a lag time that if I came in here right now and chose delete, I'm not going to be able to delete it. Now this form that I created earlier, and it's been a while since I created it, it was 10 minutes. Now if I click this for delete, it still isn't letting me delete it. So it's going to take a while for that to delete. So I just want to make sure you're aware the deletion time can be quite a while for it. So um, I found it's taken as long as over 30 minutes for the two to interact with each other. But this is a fantastic way for you to be able to monitor students or teachers or other adults submissions to your forms by just a simple process of creating the form through your OneDrive folder. I hope that helps you and I hope you'll be able to find some wonderful uses for this new use of our technologies. Thanks everybody.